today built a self-driving bullet train reaching high speeds then pulling up to stations to handle passengers. There are many systems in play here including detecting turns, platform gates, and precise speed control all done automatically. I'll get you to your monkey business on time, and that's a promise. So you may notice I'm on one of those uh, train track worlds here because we're going to be making a bullet train today and we're going to be inspired by the, the Shinkansen. I'm trying to build the fastest and most, like literally, like the bestest ever probably is what it's going to be. So first we got to start off with the wheel assembly, have it be like a base here. We want like a really heavy bottom. It is not, no. And I wonder if it should be like connected to two pistons maybe? Alright, I think it's thinking a little bit too much here. This uh, it's, it looks like it's surfing. <laughs> is slow, we're, we're going slow here. And then two is full speed. Okay, there's no way we make this. Oh, we're tilting. Oh my god. Alright, we're back in here and we're in the train. So we've created a smart engine system where it's like acceleration, you got this. If one switch is on, this happens. This is uh, gear one, gear two, and then gear three is the one that we take the turns on. And I have a speedometer here, it's uh, 75. 75 something or others. There we go, full speed. All four switches are on. And we should reach about 170. 170 something or others. Look at this. This is what I call high-speed rail. It is bouncy and scary. Yeah, so we do have to slow down to the 75 at the turns, so we don't die. Um, but I'll have that be automatic once I implement the self-driving and all that. Yeah, but this is one car. Right now the max speed is 170. I'm probably gonna have to adjust all this once I add multiple cars. But I custom made this, like, bullet train map here. 170. Can't be late. We can't be late to the- we, 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 we can't- we can't be late to the uh, next station where we're, we're two- we're two seconds ahead. We can't- we can't let our boss down here. We gotta- I, I don't think I'm gonna slow down for the turn. We gotta make it. We gotta make it to the station. Come on. We cannot let our boss down. Look, he's- he's gonna take away our vacation time. Come on. Well, now that we have multiple of these, we can try and hook them together and see what multiple cars will do for us here. This is just like a test. Alright. Still gonna have to experiment with a bunch of coupling techniques because we're gonna have to be able to walk between the cars. First, I'm gonna build the front body. The front of the train here a bit, it looks uh, <laughs> but it's really cool in first person, look at this. So you'll have the ability to drive it, but also it's going to be on autopilot. You can see it's bouncing a bit. How does that- oh my god. That- that's scary. I don't know if the nose is causing that bouncing or what, but I think it's probably like, once I build the rest of the body, it'll like, uh, be fine. Alright, so I have the nose built here, and look at it in all of its glory, it's the body right here. Uh, Shrew is currently working on autopilot a little bit, detecting turns so it could slow down for the turns. And then like that. Alright, so now that we have this, we could try and maybe make like a seat. He's got a whole contraption going here, he's got a thingy magic, And then it should see the turn and then slow down for it. Yep, it slowed down. That's insane. That's good. And then we can give him a window. Cool. We've set up this remote monitoring station. We said we sent a train around by itself, and uh, we're che we're seeing its speed here. Oh, yeah, that's the alarm that it derails. False alarm. It's about to arrive. Please work. It's it's lying. Oh my god, did it derail? So now that this is the way that it is, let's um try and do the open gangway thing where they combine. Yeah, that can turn. The debut. 
And so I do wanna I do wanna fix the engine here um, a little bit. I wanna change the speed settings to be a little. Uh, what's going on? Can I? What's? Uh, why is this happening? Can, can, it's so small. What is that? Can, can, can you get off, please? Please get out of here. Please, come on. All right. Let me take a picture of what I'm staring at. I'm not sure what it is or how it got here, but Shrew's actually working on the autopilot, and we've kind of made it more reliable, but it still derails sometimes while well, he's fixing the reliability and all that. I'm gonna start on making a station here. We have to like think where we want to um, position the stations. I kind of want them to come in fast and then slow down. Here's my whole custom-made map, perhaps over here. You stop at the station, it'll be kind of like in the middle. If we have like, yeah, the line, I guess, I guess, I guess we have to have a bit of a gap. All right, let's drive the train up to the front here. And then we could make the platform gates be like on here. And then you have like a sliding door mechanism. It's like the, you have your piston and then you go. There we are. And now it's hidden when it does that. And this is going to be basically a crosshair. Oh, that's perfect. So you're coming in, and then you're coming in slower. And then it's like, oh, you see that? Now you go then slower, and then you do that. <sighs> Bam. Are you lined up? That's pretty lined up. All right, so the station has progressed over here. We have our supports here. We have our platform screen doors, and we have like little waiting lines over here. Now at the very front here, we have these two stairs and you go up the left one, you go up the green one, there's a green arrow and like that, and the gates open and they close behind you. And this is the exit one. There we are. What we're currently doing is we're testing the, the auto um, approach here using um, distance, like a distance tracker in the nose of the train right there and it actually measures how many blocks the uh, nose is from that little tracker marker right there and it wirelessly knows when it lines up. Okay, well something has gone awry. It's it's leaving now. But yeah, the, the goal here is to have a really smooth and nice looking approach and stopping. And we have these things hanging from the roof of the station that see the door getting lined up perfectly and stuff. And then it'll open the gates safely. We got a bunch of logic under here. A bunch of the computers.新幹線はどこか特別な思いを誘う乗り物です。もう家族連れで利用された方もいらっしゃるんじゃありませんか。その白い車体が思い出の1ページを飾ったかもしれません。はい、ほう、じゅ。私たちのカメラはこれまであま
JR 東京駅午前6時半私たちの取材は新幹線の運転席に乗せてもらうところから始まりましたそこはテレビカメラがほとんど足を踏み入れたことのない世界望み41号を操るのは佐藤在来線の運転手として20年のキャリアを積んだ佐藤さんが15年前から新幹線に乗務しています広さにすれば1畳半くらい東京新大阪を2時間半で結ぶ最速の新幹線のぞみの運転席です120キロ以上は1本